What's up, everybody? It's Matt, and it is Bloodthirsty Thursday. I don't know what the hell that was. I just thought it would be kind of funny to do. Uh, I'm glad I kept it because that was kind of silly and funny. It may, just made me laugh a little bit there just, just thinking about it, just doing that. Um, I hope all of you guys are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. I am happy to see each and every one of your faces, and thank you for stopping by. And do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, all you new faces, all, all the new faces, around here I, I do appreciate each and every one of you and it makes me happy that uh, you would take the time out of your day to come see me and and just hear my my opinion on on just a on, on a film that I or movie or whatever it is you want to call it of the day it's just an opinion and I hope each and every one of you are 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 liking them <laughs> um, I know that, that I do have some fans out there that do really appreciate them and I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart you guys rock if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be here doing this today I would still be just hanging out talking about movies online and not uh, putting my ugly mug out there <laughs> Um, anyways, let's move on to the film of the day. Today's film is a really good one. It's one that, um, I rewatched it earlier today. I've seen it twice now. I want to, I want to probably give it another watch in maybe a couple months or so, uh, because that's, I, I really liked it enough to, to want to, I guess, watch it some more and see what else it had in store for, or like what else I can, what, like, what did I miss from it? Because it does have a lot going on for as far as um production value um the, like the uh, the scenery alone is just absolutely stunning like this ma this film was made in spain uh it's a spanish production but you wouldn't you would think it was an american production made in america made in in some place like colorado or northern california somewhere where there's some really really cool um secluded woods type places for where there's some lakes and and uh like some mountainous regions stuff that uh um attracts tourist people things of that nature um it uh, definitely looks like it, it was. So they, they fooled me on that one. I did not realize that until I watched the special features for this one. Um, it has some really good special features on here. Um, let's get on to, uh, let's see the specs of it. Uh, came out in 1987. Check. Can't, well, 87 on the copyright on the back of the case. Uh, IMDb listed it as 88. So I'm just going to go with 87 and call it good. I think that's that's good, fair enough in my opinion. Uh, this is definitely not rated. It's running at an hour and thirty one minutes, so it's at that that nice range of of where I like my films to lie. I like them to lie in that uh, uh, eighty to a hundred minute mark. That's 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 my my uh, my favorite runtime because then I can watch two or two films by the time by the time I could probably watch one one uh long really long one because there are some really long films out there especially nowadays they are making them longer and longer and longer it seems like uh, or is that just me that feels that way um anyways back to this one this one uh like i said 87 88 uh run at an hour 31 minutes uh, stars Barton Fox, who has a really good special, special um, uh, in the special features, he has a really cool interview, and it talks about what he does now, and he's like a teacher, and he talks about how his students, ha some of his students have gone and watched watched this film, and they gave 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 the, their opinions to him, and and they they've uh, uh, genuine generally it, it's uh, um, they like it. It's one of those that that it gets gets not nice high praise amongst his students that the ones that have seen it and the guy only made uh this one horror movie that uh i only know of he in the special features he talks about or i wait no th that he did say he only did one he went up he was up for another one that he tried for and that was fly two and he did not get that part it went to eric stoltz who did a top-notch job with fly two that's a, a amazing body horror right there um this one uh not so much in the body horror it's a stock and slash it's 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 a it's very bloody it's 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 right up my alley it's one that i i 
I just salivate over stuff like this one. This one's great. Um, who else is in here? Chris, Christina, Christina Marie Lane. Um, she does okay. She's she's got she's an interesting character. She plays Barton Falk's love interest in here. Um, I don't know if I 100% like her character yet. Just watching it twice, I'm just kind of like, because uh, there's certain little things about her that that. Uh, I find strange, but knowing that how, like seeing in it, seeing it twice now and knowing how it exactly it ends, it, uh, adds a little more. It's like, Oh, okay. It was the, uh, there's the ending is basically dangled in front of your face and, or at least, um, part of it is dangled in front of your face. You just aren't, uh, you don't realize it until you, until the second time you view it, and you see all these little little clues here and there from every uh, from all these other people it, that are involved in this film, and it's just amazing how how well that uh, Jose Ramon Larraz did with this film. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out there. It's Edge of the Axe. I've been sitting over here holding it for a while. I wanted to keep wanting to stick it up here to show you um, because I just love this artwork. Look at that. It's just absolutely stunning uh arrow video always crushes it and and just hits it right out of the, knocks it right out of the park with their releases this is one i i highly recommend to my to my uh uh fans of the slashers especially 80s slashers this is this one uh, it will go went under a lot of people's radar um I didn't know about this until probably about five years ago, maybe six. Um, I had heard, learned about it on, um, gosh, I don't know, some other reviewer on YouTube was talking about it, uh, a VHS version of it. And I was just, at that moment, I wanted, I knew I wanted to see this. I was out looking for a copy. At the time, I didn't have a running VHS player. Now I do. Um, I just didn't um, want to search down a VHS for it. I was waiting for a DVD or, or a Blu-ray to come along. And Arrow like came through and, and made my wishes come, come true. And as far as like, well, that's the newly commissioned artwork here. I just, I just love that artwork. And there is reversible artwork as usual with arrow um it is the old uh, artwork for it there i'm not too not too hip on that one it's uh it's okay it's all right but this new one's pretty groovy i dig it it's one that uh i uh it, am happy that that they they went with this artwork because <laughs> that other one if you want to hear my honest opinion it's kind of ugly um it doesn't really do this film any justice like this one does. It's because it's this scene here is very, very cool. Uh, it uh, shows you some real brutality of of this killer, which you see like a lot of th like almost you do see every death if, if uh, memory serves him. No, excuse me. There's one that you don't see that uh, sh you find they find the body. Uh, and that's really early in the film. Uh, both uh, Barton Falk's character and Paige, uh, uh, Paige Mosley, who is, uh, also has an amazing interview on here as well, talking about um, all the uh, other stuff he's been in, some made-for-television stuff, um, a few other horror films, and, and, you know, not a whole lot. But it uh, he, he had a, a fun interview there as well. He was another one that just seemed really excited and it just ecstatic to be, have been a part of this and the fact that arrow is coming along and giving such a such a, 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 a thorough attention giving it this film so much justice that um i they i believe they're just they just genuinely seemed happy and i loved i loved watching those interviews because of that uh even if you don't want don't watch the special inter or special features Watch them on here. They're not long, you know. They you can you can get all through them in less than than less than an hour. I think I got through all of them in in like forty minutes, something like that. Because there's three interviews. Um, there is comments uh, a commentary track on here by Barton Falks, and um, I forget who else it is. Um, uh, Rosenblatt, Matt Rosenblatt. Um, is that it, Matt? 
Yeah, Matt Rosenblatt. I don't. I almost said Mark. Um, but Matt, Matt Rosenblatt, they both have a uh, commentary track on here. Uh, next time I watch it, I will check it out with that commentary track because I'm curious what they have to say about, about this production, this Spanish uh, production that is made for America. Uh, what is it about? It's about a, uh, uh, this computer kid, he basically, um, He's kind of a loner. He had a horrible accident on a motorcycle years beforehand. So, and his parents are not really a part of his life. He's he's very, very isolated, uh, very independent type fella. Um, got a good head on his shoulders type guy. He seems like, a, a, like he'd be a good dude to, that you'd become friends with and he would at least stick up for you or at least help you out in times of need because there you know there is a scene where like i said you a body that that is found that that you is not that you don't get to witness the murder of that person the uh um his friend played by Paige mosley is a an exterminator who happens to be married to a much much older woman who is is um a wealthy well-to-do woman um, there's a whole dynamic going on between them two. It's not pretty. Pay both of them are not uh, uh, what I would say faithful to their to their marriage. Um, they're both uh, um, seeking the uh, um, attention of someone else, and it's not really my idea of what a, a marriage or a relationship should be about. Um, if that's yours, I mean. I'm not here to judge you. If you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> but they have a really horrible, horrible like marriage th uh, uh, thing going on. There's a interesting little thing about how Paige is. Uh, he's kind of a man whore, in my opinion. He's going after this one gal, taking her out out into the middle of of the nowhere, basically to go to these fishing spots, as he calls them, and to basically, you know fool around and have some fun, you know, with this, whoever it is that he's trying to get with this at this moment. But, um, he, uh, um, him and, uh, 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 the main character played by Barton Fox, they are going to this, this, uh, bar and grill type place and they're, they've been called, or, uh, Paige Mosley's character has been called because he's an exterminator he picks up Barton. They go over there. They're trying to find out what the smell is because it's like horrible. They think it's um, a critter has got has died in in like the rafters or in between the walls or something like that. And they're trying to track it down. Uh, they find a mangled body. It is it's pretty gnarly looking. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I really liked uh, the uh, special effects in this. They're very top they're top notch um you get treated with a really cool uh uh death scene right away in this car wash it's uh it's pretty brutal i'm not gonna lie i really liked it it pulls zero punches this movie is it gets a little it gets kind of mean in places that's what i i think i like why i think i like it because it because it doesn't pull any punches um and then basically what else happens in this movie besides a bunch of deaths um, and some, some, uh, uh, marital, uh, some terrible marriages and, and a computer nerd who's fallen in love with this other girl, <coughs> with this girl who happens to be, um, she was in a, uh, uh, a di like some sort of medical facility and she is no longer in, like it's one of those she's better now type ordeals and and that adds on to her character um th you think that it's one person when it's and then you it, it does a good job like distracting you off of who who it is for a while and then eventually you pick up like oh shit it's that person and you you've definitely they've definitely did a good job doing that um as far as like a uh is a technical side on this thing it's so well made um i'm going to give it a 4 on the entertainment side it's a 4 8 out of 10 good movie go watch it i i highly recommend it now go go watch it now i'm going to go do some something else <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, I love your faces. 15 minutes is a long time. I'm sorry for getting, making my videos so long, guys. Love your face.